Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to our Minecraft video on my channel. My name is Killfeed or Brennan here today. And in today's video, we have this very simple, cheap, but very efficient villager breeder. Now, this villager breeder will work on your PS4, Xbox, MCBE, uh, Windows 10, Switch, all that kind of thing. So better condition, this farm will work for you. Java Edition, you guys have a lot better farms, so go ahead and go research and find a different farm. But before we get into today's video, go ahead and drop a like, leave a subscription as we are growing so fast. I think we're on an average of 170 subs per day. Thank you guys so much. Also, if you guys want, check out more videos linked in the description below. Also, big shout out to my members as they're on screen right now. Thank you guys all so much for the support. As you guys don't know, I live stream 0 to 100 days of Minecraft Hardcore. I'm going to continue that series as I'm on day 52. So if you guys want to tune into that, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell. Anyways, let's go ahead and get right into the materials you'll need for this farm. Anyways, what we need for this build right here, we need, we're need we going to go ahead and grab ourselves basically one stack of building materials. Grab yourself seven buttons. It doesn't matter what kind of buttons. You need two composters. They have to be composters. You don't want anything else. It's easier to trade with farmers. You also need yourself two villagers that you haven't traded with preferably. But go ahead and grab yourself two brand new villagers. Um, eight uh, slabs. You don't really... It doesn't matter what kind of slabs they are. Just grab some slabs. Seven pieces of glass. You need three powered rails. Really, you need one. But I'm going to go ahead and use three. Um, this is to transport the villagers out of the actual breeder. Go ahead and grab yourself a minecart and eight beds. All right, guys. So go ahead and place a piece of glass right here. Now, on the right, you're going to place a stone brick or whatever material you're using. Now, go ahead and go out four, one, two, three, and four. So you're going to go ahead and come to the back right here and go out two. And we're going to go ahead and go four more like that. So we should have something that looks a little bit like that. So it's four long, two wide. So now what we're going to do, we're going to build this outer wall up four blocks. Now, don't worry about the glass right there. We're going to go ahead and get that in two seconds. Now, go ahead and do this on all three sides. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and fill this in with glass just like this. Now, take out your slabs and you're going to place two here and or four here and two over here. Now, go ahead and drop down inside. Pull out your buttons. You're going to place one back here, one back here. Do not place one here as we're going to place the other two right here. Now, we have one left over, and that's going to be for our outside to trigger the redstone. So now go ahead and place your last two slabs right here. And then we're going to go ahead and place in our villagers. All right, guys. So what we're going to do now with this last button, go ahead and place it right here. And you can go, to, go ahead and place your last three rails and then place your minecart in there like that. Okay, guys. So now that you have your water, I may have forgotten to mention that, but grab your bucket of water. Now go ahead and come to this far back corner. It doesn't matter which corner. Just go ahead and place it in there. So it is pushing to this corner right here because your villagers will come in here, transport to the block, go into the uh, minecart and be pushed away. So now that we have this, we're going to go ahead and place in our villagers and our other composter and stuff. So let's go ahead and get up here and we're going to place in our bed. So also, guys, with this farm being made, if you guys want me to build a fully in-depth iron farm to make sure you guys have the full concept of it because there is some stuff that YouTubers do not mention. If you guys want that video, go ahead and let me know down in the comments down below right now. I will make that for you ASAP. All right, guys. So now that you're up here, what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to place a block right here. Now a block right here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to place four blocks or four beds. Sorry. Now, go ahead and place your composters right here. And you're going to place your last four beds right here. All right, guys. So, what we're going to go ahead and do right now is we're going to place in our villagers. So, we're going to go ahead and place one right here and one right here. Now, you don't you don't want baby villagers. You want two grown villagers right here as they will eventually link to their workstations. All right, guys. So, once your villagers end up taking their professions, as you guys can see, they're going to go ahead and link and always delink, but they will always find their workstations. Um, I had a villager breeder right there that I wanted to go ahead and do the intro with. So, that's why uh, they couldn't find their profession. So, make sure there's no villagers around here. So, now we're going to go ahead and do, you're going to pull out your food. Now, if you have a problem with a food farm, Go ahead and check the video linked in the bottom of the description or the bottom of the more uh, tab right there. As you guys can see, they're already breeding. But I do have a full depth um, food farm for you guys that's automatically harvested by villagers. So they are breeding right now. So as you guys can see, once they have a baby, they these babies will see these buttons as a full block. So watch. As soon as he starts moving, he's going to realize that's a full block. And in a minute, he'll eventually fall maybe. <laughs> Anyways, they'll fall down, and what you have to do is you're just going to put your uh, my cart right here. I wish you would fall. Of course, he's not going to fall. There he goes. Okay, perfect. So as you guys can see, he just gets pushed out, and then you'll hit that button, and then they'll be transported. So that is a very simple and basic villager breeder for you guys. Now, remember, go ahead and go check out Snappy. Link down in the description below. 
And with that being said, if you guys really do need a iron farm more in depth, that's around a 30 to 40 minute video for you guys to follow completely step by step. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments down below. I would be able to build that farm for you guys 100% super, super quickly. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with the video. Go ahead and check out all the other ones down in the description below. My XP farm, AFK fish farm for Bedrock Edition, all that kind of stuff down below. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye, everybody.